بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ انٹر یوٹرائن انسیمنیشن اور آئی یو آئی وٹ از آئی یو آئی آئی یو آئی از این اسسٹڈ ریپروڈکٹیو ٹیکنیک دیٹ گیوز فرم اے بیٹر چانس ایٹ فرٹیلائزنگ این ایگ دس ٹریٹمنٹ کین امپروو پریگنسی چانسز فار سم کپلس اینڈ انڈیویژلس وٹ ار دا انڈیکیشنس آف آئی یو آئی دا انڈیکیشنس آف آئی یو آئی انکلوڈ فرسٹ آف آل پور کوائٹل ٹیسٹ secondly oligospermia thirdly mild male factors of fertility where the total motile sperm count is between 10 to 20 cross centers to power 6 per ml next is that of the unexplained subfertility coital difficulties mild endometriosis and the cervical problems like stenosis and insufficiency etc what are the basic principles of iu sperm sample is prepared and placed into the uterus Lower threshold for the sperm concentration is when the total motile count is more than 10 million per ml. At least 0.3 to 0.4 ml of the semen is injected. Simultaneous ovulation induction is considered in endometriosis and unexplained infertility. How many cycles of IUI are recommended? Nice recommend up to 6 cycles of IUI. What are the risks associated with IUI? Intrauterine insemination is a relatively simple and safe procedure and the risk of the serious complication is low. The risk include first of all infection. There is a slight risk of developing an infection as a result of this procedure. Second risk is that of spotting. Sometimes the procedure the process of placing the catheter in the uterus causes small amount of vaginal bleeding. This doesn't usually have an effect on the chances of pregnancy. in the risk is that of the multiple pregnancy iui itself is an associated with an increased risk of multiple pregnancies like twin triplets or more but when coordinated with ovulation inducing medications the risk of the multiple pregnancy increases significantly a multiple pregnancy has a higher risk than a single pregnancy does including early labor and the low birth weight this is the plastic sterile iui cannula Now let us talk about the procedure. The first step is sperm collection. The sperm collection is done by using different techniques like masturbating into sterile container or retrieving into the special condom during the sex. The next step is that of the sperm sample washing. This involves the removal of the seminal fluid from the sample because it can cause severe cramping in a female. This part takes about 1 to 2 hours time. A very important step in IUI procedure is that of the blood monitoring and ultrasound. So sometimes blood tests are also recommended to determine the level of hormones that are related to the ovarian function and egg growth. When undergoing injectable medications, the doctor recommend the ultrasound every 2 to 3 days. It helps to monitor the egg development and the ovaries. And these tests and monitoring help to know that everything is proceeding safely. When the egg size is generally more than 20 mm and the uterus lining or endometrium is well enough, a trigger shot is planned in such case. So the next step is that of the induction of ovulation in which a trigger shot is received by the patient once the egg is ripened within 36 hours it can cause the ovulation. The next step is that of the insemination. A woman lies on the table just like a routine examination of the pelvis. The sample of the sperm is injected directly into the uterus with the help of a long thin flexible catheter. The procedure doesn't cause any pain and does not take much time. So insert the catheter into the vagina through the cervical opening into the uterus and push the sperm sample through the tube into the uterus. and remove the catheter followed by the speculum at the end of the procedure now what advice do we need to give to the patient after the procedure after insemination patient is advised to lie on her back for a brief period once the procedure is over she can get dressed and go about for using her usual daily activities she may have some light spotting for a day or two after the procedure so we need to give advice regarding that as well Next step is that of the follow up. Ovulation and progesterone levels are tested after one week. Additional support of the hormone is also supported in cases of some patients. The lining of the uterus is prepared by these hormones for the pregnancy and um, this support is also used for the women who have multiple pregnancies. So follow up plan is uh, extremely important. Next step is that of the pregnancy test. 
This is the last step of the procedure. It's disconducted generally 14 days after directly inseminating into the uterus. And this test finally helps us to see whether the treatment turned to be successful or not. In cases the result is not positive, one may contact the doctor and start the procedure once again. Now, this is a summary of IUI process. First of all, the semen sample is collected. Secondly, the sample is processed into the sperm only. Thirdly, the sperm uh, is inseminated into the uterus. What are the advantages of IUI? First of all, uh, there are increased chances of pregnancy associated with IUI. Secondly, lower cost compared to the other fertility treatments. Thirdly, the minor discomfort. No need for the medications to stimulate ovulation. And this procedure can be used in combination with other treatments as well. There are fewer risks of the multiple pregnancies associated with IUI. It is helpful for male fertility issues. So that is also another advantage of IUI. So thank you so much. That was all about IUI. Subscribe on Ops and Guide. Allah Hafiz.